welcome to Magical Make Believe. I'm Miss Dina. And I'm Miss Becca. And today we are going to look at caterpillars and butterflies and pollination. It's spring! Ah, finally! <laughs> <laughs> the flowers are starting to come out and we're going to start seeing these creatures pretty soon. Uh-huh. And we want to talk about why they're important. Yeah. So, caterpillars, we have our cute little caterpillar here, eat a variety of plants. That means they eat different kinds of plants. Let's see. So, some caterpillars like to munch on some carrots. Some caterpillars like milkweed. Others like the leaves of lilac bushes. And do you know what happens to caterpillars after they've eaten a lot and they've grown? They turn into butterflies. Yay! So, but what do butterflies eat? Butterflies drink the nectar of different kinds of flowers. Some drink the nectar of clover or milkweed flowers. Some like any bright flower. And sometimes the butterflies like the flowers of the same plants that they munched as caterpillars, like the lilac. Milkweed is important for lots of insects, but for the monarch butterfly, it is super important. And this one is the milkweed. Yep. The monarch butterfly doesn't drink the nectar of the milkweed flower, but milkweed is the only plant that the monarch uh, caterpillars will eat. Mm -hmm. So there's not much milkweed, then there's not much monarch caterpillars, and they can't eat anywhere. And there'll be fewer caterpillars, which means fewer butterflies. Also, monarch butterflies, that's the only place they'll lay their eggs as well. So they eat there, and they lay their eggs there. So it's really, really important to have milkweed. It's important to have lots of different kinds of plants for all of the different kinds of butterflies and caterpillars and wildlife. Mm -hmm. But that milkweed is super important for the monarchs. Yes. Oh, why? Speaking of butterflies and all sorts of different kinds, why do we even want them around? Besides the fact that they're pretty. They pollinate <gasps> different plants. That's a big word. Mm -hmm. So do you know what pollination means? I think the butterfly does. What does it mean, butterfly? Well, it means when you get, take the pollen from one plant and bring it to another so that the plants can reproduce. Mm -hmm. But how does a butterfly get pollen? On their little feet. <gasps> so when they go to the flowers and they're getting the nectar, the pollen gets stuck to their feet and they will carry that with them the next flower and that helps make more flowers and not just pretty flowers things like food we eat like mm -hmm. carrots or tomatoes or potatoes do those have flowers too the tree or trees yeah yeah your apples that you end up with later in the year they were helped by butterflies and bees yeah oh yes our fun little crafts that we made yes so I made a cute little caterpillar He's on, on a leaf. leaf. He's so cute. <laughs> and look, he was munching it. Mm -hmm. And you can make different types. You can do different colors. Mine has little wiggly eyes. And then Miss Dina made some colorful butterflies out of coffee filters. I did. I flattened out the coffee filters and made them all colorful. But we will link the actual directions yes. to making these in the description below. Yes. So that you can make some at home too. Um, and then if you're interested in learning more about caterpillars or butterflies or other pollinators, you can come and talk to us. We have plenty of books. All sorts of books on and gardening and on yes. caterpillars and butterflies and other pollinators. And if you'd like to start your own butterfly garden, we have seeds here in our seed library that we you can do. come and start your own pollinator garden. Yeah, and we can show you where those are and how you take those home. Yeah. So, well, that was a 
fun little look at caterpillars and butterflies and how they help flowers grow. Yeah. So keep an eye out on your flowers or in your neighborhood for little caterpillars. Don't touch them. Let them do their job. Right. Just use your eyes and look and see and maybe see what kind of plants they're on. Maybe that'll yeah. help you learn the plants in your neighborhood. <laughs> oh, exactly. Well, I guess we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.